tonight. Mike gets scared. Driving in donuts in a petrol station. Pete attacks me. Hello, Green. Ow. Sorry, I didn't realize that was you. <laughs> <laughs> and Mike discovers gravity. Oh, 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 oh. I have spectacularly failed to achieve greatness. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to Lawrence Plays, where we're playing some more Manhunt Checkpoint. No we're not, no we're playing some more Manhunt Survival. I, I, it's easy to get confused and say the wrong thing. Um, so, yes, we have. how are we playing it today? So survival mode is the one where I have to drive around and try and stay alive until the circle gets down to down to 100 metres. At that point I then have to get away from any chase I'm in, get away from the hunters, and at that point I win. Up until then, the hunters have a circle on their map that shows them roughly where I am, and that circle gradually shrinks over time, making it easier for them to find me. So that makes the game get gradually harder as time goes by. It starts off at like 500 metres, it shrinks down gradually. When it gets to 100, then this, the end game phase starts. Uh, the hunters are going to be trying to, um, well, hunt me down, as the name implies, and then uh, try, try and kill me, try and stop me completing the, uh, try and stop me survi surviving, because that's the, uh, their objective. Um, and so we've got, I've got to sort of just generally keep moving around the city, try and stay, just try and stay generally alive and, and healthy and, uh, and, and away from the hunters. Now there's there's a number of different tactics I can use. I could I can use a, a fast, I can use a sports car as I'm doing at the moment, and that gives me an edge over them if, if, if and when we do get into a chase. Or I could try using something a bit slower, something a bit tougher, um, and that'll give me an edge, because, potentially give me an edge, because the extra toughness of the car means it'll survive longer in a chase, and the um, and and also if I drive something that's slower than a coupe, um, in cl class at least wise, um, then I get bulletproof tyres to go with my car as well. So there are advantages to using better cars. There are advantages to using worse cars. I can see one of the hunters over there changing cars as they uh, as they they are allowed to do. So the way we play the game these days is that the hunters are allowed to steal any vehicle they want. It's clearly Pete because it's green. Um, as long as, as long as it's not a sports or supercar, so the one I'm in is is safe because it's a sports car, um, and as, and they then have to colour it in their personal hunter colour to uh, to make them a bit more obvious, to make it easier for me to spot them and to make it easier for the other hunters to spot them as well. So that they, uh, it which probably reduces cases of friendly fire or at least friendly chases or confusion and that sort of thing. All right, so. Yeah, my tactics. As I say, I can I can stick with a sports car because then if I get into a chase, I've got a good chance of running away from them. We've got ex extra damage turned on in the game at the moment, though, so that means that um, cars will pick up extreme amounts of sort of deformation damage. So they don't get smashed and blown up and destroyed much quicker than normal. They're possibly a bit quicker than normal, but they do pick up a lot. They do get deformed very very easily. So you'll get sort of wheels pushed at funny angles, body panels crushed, all that sort of thing, very very easily. And that means that the car, when that happens to the cars, they start to handle worse and worse. Um, and that means makes them a bit less. Um, Obviously, a bit less good in a chase from either point of view. So that the hope is that this will make it a bit harder for the hunters, because as they go around ramming cars to find out how they respond to see if they're me, their cars will pick up more and more damage and become worse and worse. And so they'll be nipping in and out of the circle to change their cars. They'll be um, struggling to struggling to keep their cars in one piece. And potentially, when we get into a chase, their cars might already be in an absolute state and just not work properly. So we'll see how that goes. The downside is, of course, that I pick up a lot of damage as well, um, because my car is is running on exactly the same damage models as theirs. Because it probably wouldn't be fair otherwise. So we'll um, we'll we'll see whether how how that works for me. The other potential advantage I have on my side is if I drive a car that is worse than a coupe, so uh, um, things things like muscle cars or sedans, that sort of thing then I get bulletproof tyres to go with it. And that's quite useful because the hunters have this habit of uh, shooting out my tyres whenever they get the opportunity in order to slow me down and make me a bit easier to catch. So if I switched into that, that Panto, for example, or that Washington in front of me, then yeah, sure, the car would go a lot slower, but it would also then have... The it wouldn't. I wouldn't have to worry about the tyres being shot out. There goes Pete. Uh, there is Tristan. Um, I wouldn't have to worry about the tyres being shot out, and I think they'd probably be a little bit tougher as well, so I'd have a bit of an advantage there. Um, I'm surprised Tristan didn't check this car actually. Maybe I'll turn right when this light goes green. There we go. Head off this way. Just just head away from him a bit. I don't trust that fire engine over there because I think the hunters also quite like to drive fire engines because they are um, 
big and heavy and tough and so they make quite good um sort of light assault vehicles because because they're quite hard to stop they're, they're still but they're still reasonably quick now what i'd ha, um peter's just killed um ed so that means they're both they both get killed so that's another rule we have in this game is the the retribution rule for the hunters so if one hunter kills another the hunter who did the killing also gets killed as a sort of as a punishment for being a bit too careless with his driving or with his shooting or, or with whatever it was he was um he was doing at the time so I would like to find myself a Shafter. That's a car that is a sedan, but is almost as good as a coupe as far as cars go. Um, the problem is I'm not quite sure what they look like, and I have a habit of accidentally picking up Schwartzes when I mean to pick up Shafters, and those are sports cars. So that's I'm not going to say not allowed because I'm allowed to drive whatever on whatever I like. Is that one behind? No, it's a Zion behind me. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's a Zion. Um, the Shafter is the one that looks a bit like a um, Mercedes E-Class, I think, um, and they, they're often in this sort of area of the city. So I'm potentially, I've got a chance. To be, I mean, that's part of the reason I'm around here is because I'm hoping to find one of those because that will ha give me a lot of advantages. It'll give me the um, the circle shrink rate of a of a not sports or supercar. This isn't my green light. I've started moving, so I'm going to take it anyway. And it would give me the bulletproof tyres of a um, of a sedan whilst also giving me most of the handling of a coupe. So if I can find one of those, that would be fantastic, and I'd be very happy. But they're quite rare. They do tend to be in this, as I say, they tend to be in this sort of area of the city, that's why I'm here. But there aren't, there don't tend to be that many of them around. That's a, um, a felon behind me and a Zion behind that, and I can't tell what's behind that one. Um, <laughs> in the dark, it's a bit difficult to identify cars uh, when there are a few back and all you can see is the headlights. So the hunters apparently think I'm somewhere over there. So that's that's interesting. That means the circle is over that way. So perhaps I should turn right here and just carry on bimbling around this area in an, in an attempt to not make the circle move. Because when the circle moves, it gives them quite a lot of information about where I am. They know that I was basically on the edge of the circle at the point when it jumped. Um, I don't know what I was stopping for there. Apparently this this red light, but yeah, that's a bit weird. Uh, yeah, let's follow that um, that Infernus. I could drive an Infernus. I think that would be in, probably be quite a bad idea from a general tactical point of view, though, because they are, yes, they're really, really quick, but they're also pretty fragile. And because we've got enhanced damage turned on, it's not going to last very long when it gets into a chase. So, all right, there is Tristan over there in that junk in the junction. Let's, was that eight? No, that was, that, that was the Zion I saw earlier. Um, that's a, that's another that's another felon. I don't want that. Now the Infernus is driving quite sportily, which makes sense. I mean, you wouldn't. Why would you have a supercar if you weren't going to, you know, drive it properly? Um, so I reckon that by sort of following it, I might be able to move along, re make reasonable progress through the city, um, and just yeah, just keep things keep things going reasonably well. Ooh, there's a green light. Go on, little Panto. That's Washington. Yes, Washington over there. I don't want that. Okay, so we're going to loop round here and come back. Oh, no, I'm going to go... I'm going to carry on following the um, this Infernus because it's a nice car and I, I, I have no logical reason to follow it. Um, apart from just it's there and I might as well. Now, um, this is a... There's quite a lot of cars here, so this is a bad place to be. Um, because big clusters of cars get the hunters suspicious. Because the way the game works, and this is a sort of a... Um, a slightly metagaming y kind of thing. Um, car oh, he's gone the other way, excellent. Cars will spawn in when there's a player nearby in order to keep a sort of a, a reasonable level of traffic around them, um, as you kind of want. Oh, Ed's in a pickup truck, nice. Um, so in order to keep a decent amount of traffic around, because that's what you want, you don't want to be driving around an empty city. Um, cars will also not despawn if there's a player nearby because that would look weird if a car was dis if cars were disappearing. These things, these factors, add up, add together, rather unfortunately, to mean that if there's a player, if if you're around as a player, and if you're not moving around very much, if you're just sort of sitting, driving around fairly slowly, because you're okay, cars are panicking because he's shooting, so I'm going to do that as well. Uh, go up this way a little bit. Was that convincing panic? I don't know. I haven't practicing practiced my panicking very much. Um, oh, here he comes. 
There he's, is he going? Yes, he's going. Okay, he's cleared off. Good. I'm going to go the other way because I don't want to stick around too close to him. Anyway, as I was saying, all of those factors, they sort of add together to mean that if you're... Um, uh, if, 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 if you're a player and you're driving fairly slowly, if you're not careful, you tend to end up in a big cluster, in a big queue of cars, because you basically, you quite literally attract traffic. Um, and that makes you really, that makes you kind of obvious. And a number of the hunters we're playing with today have a tendency to see, a, to basically drive around the city looking for large numbers of cars. And then when they see a big mess of cars sitting, lurking around, they go, aha, here he is. And they start investigating hard by ramming cars and looking for odd reactions and oh, that's two of them. <laughs> Pete is apparently trying to wreck his car. Um, where did Tristan go? I didn't see. I was too distracted by Pete's crash. Uh, that lifeguard vehicle is probably, is as I say, it's one of the hunters who's seen a big queue of cars and got suspicious because of it. That blue car is driving like a bit of a lunatic. Um, I don't like this area. There's too many hunters around. What is that red car doing? Probably panicking, because it's not a hunter. That panto is definitely panicking. I don't like just sitting here. This is scary. Come on, lights. Go green. There's, there hasn't been anything to panic me. So I can't just flee. Okay, now I can panic. Was that convincing panic? I'm not sure. I'm going to go off this way, just in case it wasn't. And then I'm just going to flee a little bit, because I don't like this area anymore, because it's full of hunters, and my car's picked up some damage. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hoon miles across the city, they'll, oh, and completely trash my car on the way out of there, and then switch to this oracle. Yeah, give me the oracle. Right, so... Oh, for goodness sake. Sorry, mate. I've damaged your car. But... <laughs> that that didn't go as intended. Um, what I actually... <laughs> yeah, I ended up driving into a tree. Obviously, it didn't go as intended. Um, I think one of these is a way out. Or a way somewhere. I'm, oh, into a car park. Perfect. So, right. This car is smashed. I need to find a car that's in better condition. Oh, there's another Banshee. Okay, that'll have to do. Is that convert? Ooh, is that a convertible banshee? No, it's a hard top. Okay, that's a shame, because um, yeah, one of the big advantages of convertibles. All right, I'll wait for the A alarm to stop. I think actually, alarm stop, please. Alarm, please, please stop, stop. How about now? Come on, there we go. Okay, so one of the advantages of convertibles is you can steal them, and then when after breaking the window. Oh dear. I've just given myself away because I started driving because I saw an, I, I saw that hunter approaching me. That was not good tactics, but I th I don't know. He saw me come out of the car park, so I reckoned he was probably going to be suspicious of me. And also, I've got a faster car than they have. I should be able to get away. If I can't get away from a lifeguard truck and a coupe in a banshee, then I should probably hand hand my prey license back in and uh, <laughs> let somebody else have a go. Uh, so let's head over this way. Now I need, I need to change vehicles now because they've seen they've seen the black banshee and I've used two different banshees now. So I think it's time for something else. Um, I do want to stop using these um, sports cars though. I'd like to switch over to something a bit more. I as I say, I, ideally I want I want a shafter because they are um, they are uh, good sedans. Oh, no, it's another sports car. That's a coupe. That's an SUV. Uh, SUVs are too bad. Too bad. When I get, when I inevitably get into a chase, I'll be in, just in too much trouble if I'm right driving an SUV. Pantos. Pantos are funny, but they're not actually good. Let's head down to the ghetto. Let's not randomly break as well on my way down there. Let's head down to the ghetto and pick up a muscle car. I think that's, I think that's a good option. I know I was I was talking about it between runs, so the hunters will probably be sus suspecting it a little bit. But ooh, actually, no. Let's 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 have a jester because jesters are fun. I like I do like the jester. 
And it's it's different. I haven't driven one of these yet. Did Tristan see that? Pete's on a bike. That makes... <laughs> just as always. Pete really likes his bikes. Okay, so I'm in quite a good position here, I think. I'm incognito again. And I'm in a sports car. So I haven't done what I've been saying I'm going to do for the entire run. I haven't switched over to something that's a bit a bit worse just to get the uh, the tire bonus and the damage and the toughness bonus but I'm in an un, un, previously unseen car an unseen type of car as well so and the hunters are going off all going off in different in the wrong direction so I think I'm in a pretty good position let's circle around in downtown for a little bit let's because I think the hunters get a lot of information when the circle jumps Um, was that an AI-ish way of doing a turn? Pete is following me. Or is he following that other banshee? No, I think he's... He's following one of us, but I don't know which. Let's go this way. Oh, that was a bad turn. Yeah, okay, he's following me. I'm going to put my foot down again. Now, <laughs> now we have an, an, a slightly more interesting chase. So, the, um, the sport bikes are pretty quick. I don't know whether they're as fast as sports cars, though, so oop, let's, I guess we'll find out. Now, in the real world, in a straight line, or at least ac straight line acceleration, a bike would easily outclass a car. No questions asked. Just absolutely trivial for it. Um, but on the corners, the car is m would be much, much better. GTA Physics says that's not the case. Bikes are really, really good at cornering in GTA for some reason. Um, Probably because otherwise nobody would ever want to use them. So they have to make oop, make them really, really agile and generally very, very good. So Pete is probably going to be able to keep up with me. But we'll see how it goes. I'm definitely not going to make things easy for him. Because at least this time, I'm in a, actually in a good car for this chase. Um, now, ha having just stormed across the city, the uh, all the way across the ghetto at um, wide open throttle like that. I wouldn't be surprised if I've managed to actually get away from him, but I'm not going to I'm not going to jump to an assumption on that one because I know how dangerous assumptions like that can be. Oh no, no, he is still there. Crikey! All right, a bit more time. Time for a bit more of the uh, the old wide open throttle, and then a swift turn like that. I think he's probably going to. Yeah. So the problem is. A turn like that is going to be significantly wider for a bike than it is for a car because the bike is so much narrower it's just a much easier turn to do that on the other hand well I don't know I don't know whether that's a good good way of avoiding him or not the problem is is though I've rather obviously gone onto the highway and if I do this I'm still going against traffic so it's going to make me really obvious if anyone sees me but this bit of highway there's no way to get from one side of it to the other apart from the sort of the odd places like where I just where I did you have to go all the way up to the ends of those so is that going to be an, an, an evasion I think it might be <laughs> nope there he is again oh and I picked up another hunter as well damn it so this is why I like to be able to turn the circle off but I don't think we've got that implemented in this game mode um, because when they're um, when they're chasing me even if I've lost them, they can then use the circle to work out roughly where I'm going. And if I'm doing it, so if I'm doing things like those, that highway run, they've got a chance of sort of keep sort of keeping up with me. So how big is the circle? I think it's about the last number I saw was I think about 260. So I've still got quite a long way to go. I'm not sure I can hold a chase together for that long, even in a even in a um, oh, 220. That's not so bad. 120 meters to go then. I don't know if I can hold a chase together even in a for 120 meters worth of circle shrinking. Um, even in a, what's this, um, whatever this car is called, Jester, that one. Um, but, maybe if I can drive a little bit better, if I can zip over this way, maybe find, yes, I think sticking with the sports cars is probably the way to go for this. Uh, that's not a sports car, let's try and find something a bit better than that. A Banshee or perhaps another Jester, I think is my, um. Or, or no, that's not felt, I keep thinking those are, I keep thinking those are Fusilades. There aren't, there aren't. There are no fuselades spawning today, so stop. Ooh, was that a felt, sir? Oh, that'll do. I'm changing, changing cars on a main main road. That's a 
big no-no for me. It's on my list of things not to do. But I think I put down enough speed. Is this a sports? No, this is a coupe. Okay. Never mind. That's still okay. I may be able to escape on a coupe. We'll, we'll see how this goes. Right. So I've done a couple of... I've, I've ditched the car. I've done a couple of corners. I'm now somewhat incognito. That's Max in a um, panto. Okay, there. He's investigating an oracle because it's an oracle. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> Stop ramming my car. <laughs> oh, I should have just kept with the sports cars and just kept going. I mean, there's only another 120 metres of shrink, circle shrink to go. I'm like three quarters of the way through the game. I suppose the circle is now... Yeah, because I'm saying it's only 200 metres to go, the circle is relatively small. So it's got a bit easier for them to track me. Um, that's a banshee, but it's too crowded around here. I'm not trying to try change cars on there. Not when I've just sprinted down that road at foot flat out and there's probably a hunter or two behind me. Um, but if I come back up here, 190, so we're under 200 metres now. And I think I'm once again not actually being chased right now. So, um, ooh, scree... So let's 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 start looking for another sports car. Now, the the moving around at high speed thing is it's not the best of tactics. There's there's one. Yeah, I've still got the damage on the front. Driving around at high speed like that that is not the best tactic. Haha, <laughs> they just went, both went past me without spotting me because I was driving slowly and sensibly. Oh no. I think Ed might be turning around. Yes, he is. Okay, I need to get off this road. Oh, I can't see him now, actually. Okay, I'm risk I'm going to risk the, the car swap. If I get the Banshee, then... Yeah, there we go. So the Banshee, properly... Again, quick. A quick car. I'm going to be in with a decent chance of, getting, of staying away from them if I get into another chase. Like this, in fact. So, is that Pete on a, on a bike that he's forgotten to recolour? I think it might be. Okay, I think we are basically doomed to just spend the entire rest of this run in um, in chase after chase then. Because the thing is, with a circle now being down to as small as it is, hiding is very, very difficult. Um, because the hunters all have the... have They have a, a circle that's... I mean, um, if it is... If, if we're talking radius, which I think we might be, don't shoot my tyres, don't you dare shoot my tyres... If we're, if we're talking radius, and I think I think the circle is about the radius, um, then there, there's less than 300 meters across for them to look for them to look around in um, at this point. So I'm I'm going to struggle to to actually hide. Oh no, they, you see what I mean about the excess damage. Um, look how much that that one little slide into a wall there is completely pushed in the back corner of my banshee. That's oh that oracle got. I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, it's Max in the um, on the bike, and so it was. It wasn't. A, it was an approved coloured car. So that's that's all right then. It, the bike was blue. I just couldn't tell because I don't know the way I was looking at it or something. Oh, this car is now is not handling quite as it should. Um, my only chance at this point, I think, is going to be sort of raw speed and just dodging and staying away from them um, for another. 50 meters of circle shrinkage and then I have to sort of flee and just get a, get out of sight of them basically so yeah this is going to be interesting and there's Mike right behind me he's he's going to be difficult to shift as I say there's, there's the, my car isn't as fast as it once was however because I started with a, a banshee and all of the speed and relatively agile that goes with that why is he how is he still on his bike? That's absolutely ridiculous. Um, yeah, I've got the I had the sort of speed and agility that comes with the Banshee, and I've still got a decent amount of that. I don't know how he's managing to push my car around like that. The, um, the it's, I'm just going to have to complain. Am I going to have to spend another five minutes complaining about the physics engine in GTA, where apparently a bike can push a... Oh, there he goes. Right, that's what's supposed to happen when you ram a... What happened there? 
did oh I think Mike ran over uh, Max's car <laughs> but didn't um, unfortunately didn't kill him which I mean if he, if he had killed him that would have been really convenient for me um, because when as I say we were saying earlier we've got the oh, retribution feature so when one hunter kills another they both get taken out uh, right their cars are, seem to be holding up slightly better than mine is um, which is unfortunate for me um, but maybe this fog will help a little bit with the escape. Oh, I can't corner like I want to be able to. 130 metres. Nearly there. Oh, smash. It helps if you don't drive through traffic through, through street furniture, Lawrence. Yeah, the car's now starting to pull a little bit to the right. So, wow, this is a lot of fog. My car is definitely struggling. The circle is really small, so there's no way I'm going to be able to actually escape from them. All I can do at this point, I think, is just keep keep my foot down. Try and keep moving quickly, so stick with the big roads, and try and try and outrun them a bit, and try and run the clock out. I don't think there's really anything else to do here. Uh, try and corner like that. There we go. See, uh, it's, that, that it's a real struggle to get this car to go around those corners. I could do something slightly funny, like drop off the um, onto the onto the highway uh, from here, perhaps. That might be worth a shot. I can't, I can't now really. I've, I've, I've missed my opportunity to do that. Um, uh, where am I? Ooh, okay, let's go down here. Let's go back across into, into ghetto from here. So this sports car run has gone quite well, even if there's not very much left of my Banshee at this point. Poor Banshee. <laughs> it served me well though, so I am um, very very happy with how, how well that's gone and the raw speed of just being able to get away from them when they were chasing me there has been incredibly useful now the what's the, the question is going to be what's going to be the best way to get away from them once the circle sh finishes shrinking um, now it's entirely ooh, truck it's entirely possible that by the time the circle gets down to the hundred meter minimum size I'll be far enough away from them just from this hooning across the city that I'll be that I'll be free and gone. Um, I'm not changing to that. <laughs> but we shall have to see. Um, oh, 100 meters. There we go. So, final hunt. This seems like a good opportunity to switch cars, actually, because now, because we've hit final hunt, the circle has disappeared, and that means they can't use the circle to track me. All they can do is use their impression of where I was to try and stay near me until their cars explode. So, if there's nobody behind me, which I don't think there is, I can probably pull off into one of these car parks and try and change into a slightly less battered car and then sneak away a bit. Oh no, no, they are following me still. Crap. That's... Oh no, I've gone the wrong way. <laughs> That's bad. Peter's still with me. Okay, in that case, I just need to go get out of here and try and rely on what's left of my banshee to get me get me out of here. What is that doing there? That is very unhelpful. <laughs> okay, so much for that plan. I thought that was going to be really cunning. I thought, yeah, if I if they're um if they're not as near me as if they're not in sight of me, I can Oh. Oh no. Don't get me during the final hunt. I'm so close to winning. I want to win. I haven't won for ages. <laughs> oh no, that's a tire. I'm in trouble. That's another tyre, probably. I don't know, that's a pin. Into the storm drain. Last ditch attempt for freedom. Right, so the car is... Because it's a reasonably fast, powerful car, even with a tyre missing, I can go fairly quickly down the storm drain. The problem is there's quite a lot of hunters around here, and half of them are shooting at me, probably with sniper rifles. So, this is going to be tricky. Let's try coming out here. So the only thing I've got going for me now is the speed that the um, the Banshee is capable of, even when a tyre is missing and that's a wall. Oh no. I'm in trouble. Come on, get moving. Oh no! So close. So close. Ah. <sighs> I've not heard it say something yet. It's about an hour if it is. It doesn't look like a character I know. I
I followed a whole bunch of vehicles doing some strange maneuvers and just. Yeah, they just. Uh, got him. Uh, Banshee, right car park, north of red car park. Uh, Idea. Arcadia, yes, north. Oh, I'm uh... sorry. Uh, Black Banshee. Yeah, east uh... side of the Rockford Plaza, northbound. Yes. He's going right with that road towards the uh, construction site. And then he continues. Is that him? No, we're not him. No, he's southbound, southbound, sorry. He turned right again. <laughs> Circle jumped. Okay. He's heading to a ghetto, white sports car. Uh, we are heading down main road in ghetto, uh, past car wash. Uh oh. Uh, heading low. east. Yeah. Okay. Um, past ring of fire. He is bloody fast. Past medical center. Uh, continuing southeast. Uh, over the tram lines, heading into industrial. I am losing him significantly. Uh, he's taking a left, heading towards uh, Mirror Park. Have you gone? Yeah, continuing. He's taking a left again, so heading back towards the ghetto direction. Uh, heading west now, heading into ghetto. Um, he's taking a left yep. there. Right uh, Yeah, continuing the west. Arena. Yeah, exactly. He is right in my distance now. He's jumped down, I think, onto the highway. No, he's not. Uh, he's yeah. doubled back. North side of Arena, you're heading back into... No, double Ghetto. back, yeah, heading no, north, yeah. No eyes. Uh, I still have him heading north. You should not take okay. a He's just taking a right now. Uh, so under the bridge, heading where? East towards... Go ahead. Ghetto again, past the wavy Robert, man. I don't yeah, we're not is. off the highway. No eyes. I think he's around square to square somewhere. Yeah. No. Okay. Oh, yeah. That was very cheeky having a fast car like that. Certainly a sports car. Oh, he's, uh, he's in a white jester, sorry. I just caught him at zero. He's going north towards square of squares. Oh, sorry. Oh, my fault. Northern east side of west. Of, yeah. Sorry, sorry. East of uh, going east on square squares. Now still going east. Yeah, I'm behind you. Oh. Heading into the pillbox hill tunnel. Oh god, I'm gonna wreck. <sighs> He's come straight out and taken, I think, a left at the top road nope. there, past Arcadius. Oh there. Arcadius. Yeah. Yeah, he's orange, he's like right here. Passing oh, yeah, yeah. bank. Uh, he must have taken a right and I missed it. Barricade, but... Get on that. I think I found him. DD. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's him. Uh, Alice Customs, uh, northbound, turns right. East Bandit, uh, Alice Customs, north side, Lock Plaza, north side, Lock Plaza, east side. Continuing east. Another sports car, blah, and I hit the uh, He's continuing east towards Casino, he turned left. Left is uh, It's gonna be at the Vinewood Plaza. Circle isn't moving. Oh, yes, it is. Automated. Grey Banshee? North, nope. north, north. Uh, Grey Banshee, eastbound. At the UFO? Yeah, that's him. 
Uh, Grey Banshee eastbound UFO. Yeah, still going that way. Off the Hollywood Boulevard now, eastbound still. Grey Banshee Black Stripe, female character. Turn to left towards the hills, the right, the east main road. Turn to left towards UFO again, like if the road curves around a little bit. Uh, Gentry Matter now. Uh, he's in front of Gentry Manor westbound. He turned right into the hills. He's gonna turn left. He's uh, well westbound in the hills now a little bit. He turned right. You know where the small uh, construction site is? He's slightly north of that. He binned it. Get a headshot. Why? How? Mm. Does he have increased health? He's keeping right. Nope. He's keeping right. He's probably ducking. He's in turn but... left. Uh, he's proceeding along, turning left. He was at uh, Hills checkpoint. Heading south, but there's a U-turn in the road here. Ah. He's still following the same road round. Purple on right. Type purple on your right. Still following the same road round. Bearing west, still following it round, still following it round. Mm. Oh, left he's behind. turned left. left at the end. Circle is off. Yep. Circle's back on. How did I not fall off after this? Oh my god. Watch out, watch out. I'm kind of nervous about trying to overtake you, because if I hit yeah. you, I'll... Ten seconds behind you guys. Jet bike. Uh, sir, we're westbound, eastbound now again towards uh, Eclipse what? Towers. What? Watch out, Mike. You got two of us behind you. Oh. He's west Ooh. side of Gulf Course. Uh, east side of Gulf Course. <laughs> that exploded. Put it this way, my bottom is sin. <laughs> heading south. Still heading my, south. My bottom too, but from the burn marks on the road. Approaching five, five ways. ways, crash, crash, crash. Yeah. Um, crossing five ways now. Five ways east towards shopping Come center. Come on. Nope. Come on. Towards Acadius. Ah. Uh, cross left at dog's leg. Going lower at higher lower. Going straight. Oh, he's getting away from me. Still going straight, disappearing into the fog in the distance, but still looks like he's going straight. Yeah, straight. Sorry, straight. Uh, the location? Uh, oh, going over the bridge. Bridge uh, from West Wales into Industrial. Uh, no eyes. He's in the fog in the distance. All I can hope now is that he bins it. Probable left turn. Uh, no, right turn at the end. Right turn, yeah. So let's head into the car parks at Arena. Nope. In which case, I've got him at the car parks at Arena. Arena car parks. Uh, yep. He took the wrong way, so he's just coming up to the jump, heading towards airport uh, west. He has doubled back, so we're heading east now. To the jump? Uh, we're past the jump. Uh, below it or on top of it? Uh, below. Uh, continuing around the road, so we're going parallel to the storm drain at the moment. Kai! Got him, sire! Oh, nicely done. Nicely done. Got him pinned. Oh, I thought I hit him. <laughs> He's in the uh, storm he... drain now. Storm drains, the uh, the auxiliary storm drain, not the main one. Lesser wheel mine out of the way. It's he right. right in front of my car. Sorry. Ah, uh, no roll. Come on. Put yourself out of the car. Got pirouetting. Westbound oh, 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 oh. 
I have spectacularly uh, filmed Nobody saw that. <laughs> I assume people have eyes. He's at the torch, he's at the torch. He's bound, he tried to jump up the hill, but he can't. My car is engaged in substantial quantities of weight reduction. Nice. Nice! Nice, you done. Oh. Good job. Close. Very, very close. Yeah. yeah. He got himself stuck there, but his car was very damaged. Yeah, I got, I got his tire, which was going to hamper him. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was probably the deciding thing. That, uh, In fact, that yeah. my car was basically crushed for most of that last chase, also hampered me a bit. I mean, it's oh, yeah. very Pete, well to be fair. Look hills, at, that looking at Pete's car, it looks like an old VW Beetle. Pete, look at my car. <laughs> Mine is currently yeah. in the process of exploding. <laughs> A very slow explosion then. Yeah. <laughs>